In science class, we're taught about evolution and how all life started out in the sea. So the question becomes, why did we lose the ability to breathe underwater? Like, surely being able to breathe underwater would be helpful. Like, just imagine how good at swimming we could be. Anyway, to breathe underwater, we need gills like fish have. In simple, gills work by water passing through the gills and as the water flows through, oxygen is taken out of the water and put straight into the bloodstream, allowing fish to breathe. Now, can you see a problem with having gills? Well, gills pretty much need to be in water the entire time to be able to allow you to breathe and also so the gills structure stays intact. So when we came out of the water and onto the land, the gills had to go and so we developed lungs. Now lungs are amazing at being able to allow you to breathe on land. They allow us to take in oxygen very effectively and remove carbon dioxide from our bloodstream. However, if water gets into the lungs, they become very useless. So you can see that gills work really well in water, but work terribly on land and lungs work really well on land, but work dreadfully in water. So therefore, the ability to breathe underwater and on land is very hard to achieve. However, I can already hear some of you screaming at the screen, what about amphibians? Well, they are an interesting one. Most amphibians start out their early life with gills, allowing them to grow up in water. Think of them at this stage as tadpoles, and as they grow up and mature into frogs, they then develop lungs, allowing them to breathe on land. And what will often happen is the older form of the amphibian will spend more and more time on land and their gills basically become useless. Think of it a bit like how we start out with baby teeth when we're young and we get rid of them to allow our adult teeth to grow when we're older. Amphibians start with gills and then move to lungs. So to conclude, the reason we lost the ability to breathe underwater is because gills are not effective on land and lungs are not effective in the water. And so therefore we replaced gills with lungs. But why whales and dolphins decided to stay in the water even though they have lungs instead of gills is a question for another video.